breakneck speeds, necessary this close to the border, the so-called red zone. Our escort says a fast-moving target is better at avoiding Russian troops, just a few kilometers away. We arrive at a checkpoint, the only one of its kind in the country. Almost two years into the war, Pokrovka is a place where people can seek sanctuary. Hundreds use it to walk into the country every day. It's even been used for prisoner swaps. The final stretch on the Russian side is a no-man's land. People have to cross alone. They find help here, but also suspicion. At the edge of the country, there is fear, bordering on paranoia, and with good reason. Earlier this month, the defense ministry said Sumy is the most frequently used region by so-called Russian saboteurs to cross into Ukraine. And even in this relatively quiet part of the war, Russian attacks are routine. Soldiers ask us to leave and tell us to stop filming. We've just left the checkpoint behind us and what we witnessed is a real anomaly in this war, an official border crossing with Russia that is still open to allow people to be able to cross into Ukraine. New arrivals are taken to a nearby village for security checks. A temporary shelter offers a bed, a hot meal, a chance to unwind. Most, as always, are women and children. Oksana is from Kharkiv. Her husband disappeared in the early days of the war, and she fled to Russia after her house was destroyed. She's been trying to get back ever since. It's been mentally difficult for the children. They do not understand why all this is happening. Somehow we managed. It was hard. We were afraid. I can't even explain it to you. I just can't. I just thought about what my children would have to eat, not to be hungry and to stay safe. Most of the returnees are from areas under Russian occupation. Here, the work of local volunteers is vital in reuniting Ukrainian families. This corridor is essential because a large number of people return through it. Many people have lost their Ukrainian documents and cannot travel through Europe. So this corridor is a way for our citizens to return home. Oksana hopes to join her mother soon. The whole time we were there, she seemed to be in tears, exhausted by an arduous journey, perhaps relieved she's almost home. Zain Basravi Al Jazeera at the Pokrovka border crossing in Ukraine's Sumy region. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.